going on guys? It's Bill at MaddenProjects.com and in today's tip we're going to show you a blitz out of the Dime Normal that is going to get a gap pressure and is also going to be very hard for your opponent to, to block. Once he starts blocking a run, running back and slide protecting, there's a couple different things you can do to make this blitz still come in effectively and there's a lot of disguise coverages that you could do. With these blitzes, I'm not going to get into all of them, I'm just going to show you one blitz. But I do want you to know that this um, technique will work with any um, play out of the dime normal. So you can run co cover two, cover one, two man under, cover three cloud, um, cover three press. Um, the dime blitz three you can't use because the angles are wrong. Cover four quarters, cover six, buzz three seam, cover four palms, cover two hard flat, and cover one spy. So basically any play other than just a couple out of this you can use. So we're gonna go ahead and show you the how we do this out of cover four quarters. And we're gonna show you a couple different things you can do to actually get this blitz to work. So first things first, you wanna have your auto flip off. You wanna have your alignment set to base. You can set your dr zone drops however you want to. It's not gonna affect the way that the blitz comes in. Okay, so. As for substitutions, a couple things you want to do is you 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 want to have fast defensive ends, somebody that that you can actually use user, and you know somebody with um, pick artist or some um, lurker or anything like that will help that out tremendously. So make a couple subs there. Also, it's up to you, but you can also sub in a safety for a little bit of extra speed at the linebacker position. Okay, so first things first, you want to flip this formation at the play call screen. So we're going to flip it and call cover four quarters. And first of all, we're going to send this or send this blitz with everybody going out on routes first, and then we'll block a running back, do some slide protections and things like that to show you what happens. Okay, so the the setup number one out of this is going to be to pinch your defensive line. You're going to press. Okay, you're going to blitz your middle linebacker, and then you're going to go ahead and back your right CB up. So all you do to get that to work is you're going to hit triangle, and then you see individual. And then based on the formation that you're um, facing, you want to count the second wide receiver in, and that would be R1. So you're going to hit R1, and then up on the left analog stick, and as you can see, he's going to back up. Now for setup number one, you're going to use the defensive end and you're going to get on him and you're going to hold L2 until the ball is snapped and you're just going to kind of stand there for a second and then you're going to um, try to lurk a route, a shorter route underneath the middle. So just hold L2, then pop into coverage and as you can see he's going to shoot right up the A gap. Okay, now the tricky thing about this is you can do this from either side. So this time we're going to do the same thing. This time, we're going to go ahead and use our, this defensive end over here, do the same thing. Uh, that time it actually gets got picked up, but most of the time it will come in as long as they're not blocking a running back. I'll do it one more time, see if we can get it to work. Nope, it's not going to work for me there, so I guess just keep it the way it is, but I have used, used it that way several times in-game, and it works fine. So once again, this setup, we're just going to do it by user in the opposite side defensive end. So pinch the defensive line, blitz your middle linebacker, back your um, corner up. Okay, that's the setup. Then you're going to get on this defensive end over here. Hold L2 and then just play coverage over the middle like that. Okay, so for a different setup, if you don't like using the, the defensive end or if you don't like backing the, backing the corner up, you can also do it this way. Pinch the D-line, press, blitz your middle linebacker. Now your middle linebacker is not supposed to drop down like that. If that happens when you're running cover four, just spread your linebackers and it still should work. 
but cover four is the only um, play that actually makes them drop down sometimes like that. Okay, so now the next thing you want to do is you want to take this guy over here, the cornerback, and you want to stand at about linebacker depth. You don't want him down here where his icon shows up. You want him somewhere in this area, right over the, the tight end. We're just going to hold L2 until the ball snap, stand here for half a second, and then play coverage. That time it got picked up. Sometimes even if you play back further than linebacker depth, it actually helps a little bit. So in the bunch um, formation, you want to be kind of in between right in here, but back off the line of scrimmage, like right there. Another thing you can do to make this a three or four man blitz, you can put the defensive end into a zone do the same thing, hold L2, and as you can see, I was actually a four-man blitz. You can also put the um, opposite side defensive end into a, a zone as well. So again, grab this guy. Stand right in this area somewhere. Just hold L2. And as you can see, it comes right in. Okay, now we're going to show you this with some slide protection. First of all, most people are going to slide right to pick up a blitz like this. Okay, so pinch, press, blitz your middle linebacker. Get up here, hold L2. Slide right's not going to pick this blitz up. This time we're going to slide left. So slide left um, picked it up that time. So what you want to do once they start slide protecting if you blitz an extra corner like this here let me slide left That's typically what's going to happen. You're going to get two people coming in if you send that send that extra corner. Okay. Now let's block a running back. I'm just going to pick a play that's already got the running back blocked. Call flanker drive. Call the same play. Now, we're going to show you this first, if you don't blitz the extra corner. See, a lot of times the block running back will pick that up. Sometimes it will still come in. I'm going to do it one more time. Another time you'll get that an animation where he comes in, gets picked up, but you get a quick block shed. Now to make this blitz come in with the blocked running back, regardless, you're going to blitz the linebacker. You're also going to blitz the corner. So again, you're going to come over here with the same guy, hold L2 until the ball snap. And as you can see there, you're still going to get that pressure. Um, coming right up the middle. And like I said, the great thing about this defense and this blitz is you can use multiple covered shells to do this with. One of my favorite plays to run out of this formation is actually cover three cloud. 
So I'm going to run this. So once again, pinch, press, put your middle linebacker, stand right about here, hold L2 until the ball snap, and then go play some coverage. Guys, I hope you like this video. Um, like I said, we just um, updated everything in our multiple defensive ebook, so get that. I guarantee you that it's the best defense you'll find. And this is just an average blitz that we have. Trust me, there's a whole lot better blitzes in the ebook version of this. And like I said, the nickel 3-3, if you know how to do it right, toughest defense there is.